80-year-old Mary Railing took her job at Dress Barn only about two months ago. I was lucky these two months. After being laid off from Sears, where she worked for more than two decades. Vintage Fair, Sears Mall, went, uh, went by the wayside, and so I was lucky enough to get a job here. But just two months into the new job at Dress Barn, she got more tough news. And then I got the news yesterday that they too will be closing. Dress Barn announced on Monday they plan to close all 650 of their stores across the country. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. But the each, t each stop along the way, you have to move on. This comes after Sears, Orchard Supply, Hardware, Toys R Us, Babies R Us, Payless, and a few others closed for good, leaving behind a string of empty buildings around town, as we first showed you back in October. I'm very disappointed. I like shopping here. Some attribute the closures to online shopping. It's indicative, I think, of many people being more comfortable with buying online. It's quicker for them to get to locate the things that they want and uh, the price is usually very right. But the city says that's not necessarily a bad thing because just last month the city of Modesto started to get sales tax from online shopping. The unintended benefit potentially of what we've seen in terms of businesses leaving town, we also see an increase in the internet sales tax and that of course is excellent for the services that we want to provide to the city of Modesto. And they say they're actively working to make sure the string of empty buildings around town don't stay empty for long. We have at least half of the empty storefronts that we feel confident uh, that there is movement and so we are actively in the conversations with the uh, businesses who will either be taking over those areas or those areas that will be sold to other businesses.